guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a random haul. Um, I did a Sephora haul, I also filmed that. But this is kind of like everything else that I hauled that same week or so that was not Sephora. So I've got Mac, Zoya, Amazon, the drugstore, um, even some jewelry from Charming Charlie's. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I'll start with, I guess I'll start with Zoya first. Zoya is a nail polish brand, if you haven't heard of them. Um, I get mine online, but they do have them at Ulta as well, and you can use coupons. Zoya had a cool deal in April, and I think it might still be going on. It might be expired for um, Earth Day. But basically, they give you 50% off on their website for, like, nail polishes. So these are normally $10, $10 each. I got them for $5 each. And what they want to do for Earth Day, because theirs, their polishes are 10 free, where they don't have all the harsh chemicals for the environment and all that stuff, and for you, they're healthier. Um, they want to encourage you to get rid of brands that do not have like 10 free with all the harsh chemicals in them. So um, that is why they offer 10, 50% off. You have to get at least six, I think, and no more than, I don't know, 12 or I don't know what it was, but it was between six and 12 for non-pro members on their website. And then if you were a pro member, you could get like up to 30 or something like that. I don't remember exactly, don't quote me on that. but. Um, the shade I'm wearing on my fingernails is called America, and it's basically a red, um, your classic red, not a blue red, not a pink red, not a shimmery red. This is like your basic red. The polish itself is very creamy, one coat will do, two coats, perfect coverage, not too cakey. Um, these have become my all-time favorite nail polishes. Um, I got some on Black Friday last year, and I was like blown away. And now I'm throwing away all of my old polishes. They want you to recycle them in an earth-friendly way. They even send you a return packet thing, so you could send your polishes to them, and they will recycle them for you in a, an environmentally friendly way. But um, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, also to note, they had a free gift with purchase. So I got this. This is the Zoya 3-in-1 Formula Remove Plus Polish Remover Nail Cleaner Nail Prep. Extended polish wear guaranteed color lock step one. So this is basically a polish remover and it cleans your nails Just a little little bottle, but I figure I haven't tried it before might as well try it I don't know what the value of that is first time. I did a haul with Zoya. I got mostly like Responsible shades, you know like mature adult shades Pinks and purples and nudes and tans and browns stuff like that So this time I went a little bit more bold with my colors. I got a red um, and then I got the shade Courtney, which is, I have not worn yet, is a berry, like a burgundy, really dark. Um, I didn't have anything like that in my collection that wasn't like old and expired. And I do like the idea of going a little bit more environmentally friendly. Um, I got the shade Ibiza, I-B-I-Z-A, and it's a navy blue. I haven't tried that one either, so I can't speak to it. Um, this is Rain, R-A-Y-N-E. This one I thought was really pretty. Um, this one is very shimmery. Hopefully the glare on the thing is not taking away from it, but it is a very shimmery, sparkly, like light blue. Um, this one is called Olivera, O-L-I-V-E-R-A, and it is a really neat, interesting, almost mermaidy shade. It's like green overall very dark but it has like a purple look like duochrome or whatever it's kind of green kind of purple kind of blue one of those shades that changes when you change the angle you're looking at it so this is the one I have on my toes currently it's um, Ocean O-C-E-A-N-E -E. um, it's a turquoise like bright blue with um, like silver glitter in it small fine glitter not um, huge you know chunky stuff just two more. This one is called Darcy, and it is yellow. <laughs> Opaque, crayon, like yellow. Crayola, yellow. Darcy, really pretty. It's mostly like a matte or a creamy formula. And last but not least, this one I saved because it's called Daisy, which is the name of our daughter. As you're watching this, I'm like nine months pregnant, and we have named her Daisy. So this one is a paler yellow. I'll put the two together so you can see. It's a bit paler. Of course, they look identical in this lighting, but um, it's a shimmery um, light yellow with like little specks of silver. But I love the Zoya site because it shows you not just the names of the colors, and it, it has a description of the color. Like it'll say bright yellow with little small yellow 
glitter pieces or something like that. But it also has an opacity rating, uh, meaning like how creamy, how much coverage do you get. And it'll tell you one means it's not very pigmented, five means you better use a base with it or, because it will stain your fingernails. And I love that about that Polish website. Okay, that's enough about Zoya. Let us move on. Um, a quick one from Amazon. I got this um, fabulous Franny brand 100% um, pure essential oil in lavender. Um, I have been obsessed with Epsom salt baths with lavender oil, if you guys hadn't noticed, in my pregnancy. So I bought another bottle of that from Amazon. I think it's about $10, $12, something like that. Um, they have cheaper ones online, but it's like not as true, like, you know, pure oils. Um, also from MAC, I ordered someone else a gift. I ordered a MAC paint pot in soft ochre. The free gift with purchase, which I kept for myself, I'm sorry, is the MAC strobe cream, just a little tube, which is like a radiant base that you can put under stuff or mix in with your foundation to get that glow. Another thing that I thought was neat was it came with this, um, like a sample pack. And so on this side, it is, says Shade Sense Eau de Parfum. So it has a, um, each of these different colors is um, a color of their lipsticks, um, like you can see on the back. So this side is a perfume named after that lipstick. Creme de Nude, Velvet Teddy, Candy Yum Yum, Lady Danger, Ruby Woo, and My Heroine. But on the other side is the lipstick. So you get the scent that's coordinating with that lipstick name and then the lipstick sample. So I thought that was really cool. I've never gotten a sample like this from MAC before. So that is it from MAC um, from the drugstore. Picked up two L'Oreal products. I got the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Weightless Feel Foundation in number 307 Sand Beige. I'm actually doing a foundation review um, wear test right now. I'm on like hour five or six already. Um, I don't like it, spoiler alert. Um, the coloring, the tube looks really dark and it actually is very light, so beware of that. It was about $12 at the drugstore and eh, I'm not a fan accentuating dryness. If you like medium to full coverage and you have oily skin, I think you'll like it. I have drier skin and it's just really not covering enough and it's accentuating that dryness on my nose. I also got this L'Oreal Infallible Shadow. This was um, the shade 335 Golden Emerald. Now I love the L'Oreal Infallibles um, and I have like Amber Rush and I have a few other ones. This is normally like six to eight dollars per shadow. It's like a green with gold shimmer in it. Um, it's usually six to eight dollars per shadow and they had it on sale at my grocery store. I think I paid two something for it. I was like, I don't know how often I'm gonna wear green, but I love these shadows so much. I don't know why they're on sale. So I picked it up and I did see it the next day at Walmart for like eight or ten dollars. I was like, suckers, <laughs> like I have mine for two something at the grocery store. Um, but yeah, why not? And then lastly for this haul, um, Lastly for the haul, I just have some jewelry, so if you're not into jewelry, you don't have to watch. Um, this is just Charming Charlie, so everything was between like $5 and $13, I think. Not too expensive. It's not one of those where I'm like a salesperson from that company like selling you jewelry, okay? This is just me going to the mall, picking up some items. Um, this is a, they're all, this is a long necklace and earrings, and it says $13, but I think I got it a lot cheaper. It's a silver chain, really long. I'll put it around my neck so you guys can see. But it's a silver chain, and then it has um, a ring on the bottom, and then a bunch of little stones. And uh, it's very long. And then it comes with a pair of earrings to match with the black stone and the silver. So let me show you. This is the shortest it goes. It can also go... Um, about two inches longer than this. So the one I'm pulling up the necklace I was wearing, so that's not confusing you. But it is very long. So this is my pregnant belly at nine months. <laughs> but it is almost to my belly button. Um, very long. And then I guess I'll show you the one that I have on, since I'm already kind of showing you inadvertently. Um, it comes with these earrings. They're like burgundy. And I liked them because they have like a copper um, one copper bead too, and then a little turquoise bead with black too. So like gold, burgundy, copper, black, and turquoise. I love that I can wear it with different stuff. You can see there. And then it's just a gold chain in between. So this one isn't as long. 
kind of falls like mid boob length <laughs> and then the earrings um and then last necklace and earrings set i got was this one i think this one was like ten dollars or something for the set and then this one is was thirteen dollars for the set i might have got it cheaper it's shorter it's a double string double layered um necklace with like a pale green Hopefully you can see that. Pale green and then some like really pretty like turquoise-y, I don't know how to explain it, um, marbled looking kind of stones. And it's a, it's a double uh, tiered, but this one's a little shorter, so you'd wear it up here. And then it came with earrings that were that pale green as well to match. I love necklace and earring matching sets. I always have. I feel weird when they don't match. I mean, if I don't have a matching one, sorry, I keep feeling like I have, ah, there's one hair that's just like bugging my eyeball. <laughs> um, I hate when I don't have a matching set, and if I don't, then I end up wearing just like plain old diamond studs or rhinestone studs. Okay, so this is a necklace I bought on its own. It was $6, um, just a gold chain, and then um, the stone itself is like a peachy, orangey, corally sherbet color. I don't know how to explain it. It was only six dollars and I do wear a lot of this color and I didn't have any jewelry in that peachy orangey corally family and then this was five dollars these are just um, square studs so I'll hold them up so you can see for size but they actually match um, the same color pretty much as the necklace so hopefully you can see that they match pretty well and then I got two other pairs like these are the peachy one that was the peachy ones and these are the same kind of thing they were five dollars each also these ones are called blue light and then the other ones are called blue medium they're like turquoisey colors so I do have um, a pair of a nice necklace from Hellsberg that has this color stone in it so I wanted some earrings and then I just wear blue a lot so I thought these were really pretty so that is everything that I've picked up recently from all kinds of random places. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.